Hey guys, and welcome back to this video. In this video, I want to be making a quick little um, uh, cafe system. So you know there's like on Roblox, there are so many cafes. And um, someone suggested in my server to make a cafe system. So I'm like, okay, finally, sure. So um, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, do that right now, please. It really supports me. And if you want to become a member, which is also highly appreciated, then click the join button down below. It's not hard, just click it and then you can purchase one of the tiers. You get specialized perks from me because I am a cool dude. Okay, so we can kind of start off right now because yes. So I want to be making like a, like a little uh, quick uh, like self-service. So you step on a part, you get a GUI, you can click what you want and then you get that in your inventory like a milkshake. You can just click it and you get it in your inventory. And then like a... Um, like a um like a staff door like only um only like I do not even know what I'm talking about like so certain people in the group can enter something like that so we can kind of start off right now so of course we need leader stats so games of players or uh, correction players player added hello connect function player um, local ls local leader stats equals to instance that no folder leader stats that name is equals to leader stats and leader stats that parent is going to be the player local rank equals to instance that new string value rank that value is equals to a player come on get role in group and then role ID correction group ID and then over here I want to type local group ID equals to your ID. I'm just gonna keep it empty for now. Um then rank that name is equals to rank and then rank the parent uh, we're gonna put that in the leader stats. So I'm gonna get, get a quick ID uh, right now. Alrighty so um got the ID Local group ID equals to, and as the previous tutorial, um, I got blocks and hotels. Um, no, they're not a promoter or something in this video. They're not. Um, just, I'm just using their group as an example for my tutorials. And if you can't see it, this is an equal. Yep. So that's easy. Let me copy that ID. Yep. So if I'm right. Okay, what we can do is get a part, insert a script, and then script a parent that touched, come on connect to the function of a uh, hit. If hit the parent, come on find first child <coughs> humanoid, then um, they can check if hit the parent. Well, local player is equal to game dot players, come on get player from character, hit the parent. Like that. I'm gonna wait for people to catch it. Yep. Um, and then you can do if player if player if um if player colon get rank in group is higher than seven then. Uh, script the parent of transparency to one script the parent that can collide is the false way to script the parent of transparency because it's zero script the parent can collide It's the true um, I just want to test this out real quick and then uh, else uh, prints uh, not not um, uh, meeting their requirements <clears throat> Just like that I'm gonna put it to make it like a bigger. Yep. I am not a professional builder, and if you're gonna ask in my DMs like, "Hey, newbie, can I be your builder?" I'm gonna say no because I don't need a builder. These are scripting tutorials. So if I'm right, I cannot. Oh, I'm not meeting the requirements. So you see, it does work. Yep. Um. It can also can do. So if you have like guests in your game and they're like, um, 
they're pronounced as like a rank dot value and then like um, guest. What you can do if is <clears throat> it's like if player get rank in group is higher than one. Easy as that. But I want to check something. So instead of get get rank in group. I am rank 7. Oh wait. Does this exist? And now get roll in group. Uh, what rank does is basically if your if your rank is 255 that means you're the group owner and then one is like guest. So let me see. Can I bypass now? Yep, we can. And then after two seconds, the door appears, and only staff members can enter. Um, so, yeah, that is a quick little door system. I'm going to be making it 0 0.5, just uh, to clarify. Just like that. And for the self-surface, we're not going to make it too hard. Duplicate the script uh, part, and then delete the script. So you have two parts now, don't get confused. Get this one. Um So I'm thinking. Alrighty, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna flip this down like this. <clears throat> like this. Go into replicate a storage and insert a remote event. Just keep a remote event. Then uh, get another script in this and then type script the parent the touched colon connect to the function of a hit if hit the parent colon find first child humanoid then so um, we're gonna let the game touch the part and then um, if the hit has a humanoid um, then we're gonna basically just fire a remote event and my phone just went off what do you want Man. Anyways, um, so if that happened, then we can basically fire a remote event. So game our replicated storage dot remote event clone fire clients hit uh well player like that, and then local player is equal to game dot players clone get player from character hit the parent. Just like in the previous script. And then you want to go into start a GUI. And insert a screen GUI. Insert a frame. And in the screen GUI, also insert a local script. Basically type now game. And replicate a storage. Go to remote event. Dot. Uh, uh, on client event. Call on connect. To the function of a nothing. And then basically script the parent dot frame is equal to true. Uh, script the parent are visible. It's just true. So if you wanna, if you don't like, trust me, I'm gonna test this out. Here we are, and if we if we press this, you see our frame becomes visible. So that is just a basic way of doing that. So for the frame, zero point five, comma zero point five. And then over here, size um, 0 0.5, comma 0, comma 0, 0.4, comma 0. And then position 0 0.5, comma 0, comma 0, 0.5, comma 0. It's basically in the middle now. You want to make one text button. You want to make it 50 by 50. And then you want to make a X in that. Background color red. Well, this, these are just optional. I'm just showing you how I, I would how I would customize my GUIs. So you have like text uh, button, well, right click that, click rename and name it exit. Then in your script, script, the parent, that frame, that exit, the mouse button, one click, colon connect, function of nothing. And then script, the parent, that frame, that visible, x to false. Hey, that was easy. So we're almost done already. So we're going to click play here. And then we get on here. And then we can click the X and then boom. 
is gone. So that's just a quick easy way. So we're going to be continuing on right now. So you have like frame and they want to insert a... Yeah, what will you insert? Not JK, you just want to insert a uh, text label, text button. And you want to name it like milkshake. And then in models, I'm just going to search for milkshake. Uh huh. I want to put that um, thingy. Like I'm just gonna make milkshake, and I'm. You want to drag that into replicated storage. Well, yes. And then over in your, um, you just want to customize your button first. So I'm just gonna do a 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0, 0. I'm gonna make it blue. And then I'm gonna keep it like that, and then just <clears throat> milkshake like that. Yes, that, if you cannot read that, then um, no. So this is my milkshake button, and we're gonna go into a local script, and then script, script, script a parent, but frame. That milkshake dot uh, mouse button one click come on connect to a function of nothing and then basically gain the replicated storage dot remote events to come on fire server nothing so you want to duplicate this right click duplicate and then right click rename and then just put it two at the end hey that is not a, that, that is not hard okay Okay, anyways, so now you've done that, you want to go into your, you want to make another script, duplicate it, and you want to name this one leader stats, and this one a handler, well, delete everything inside of it, basically, a uh, game, the replicated storage, dot remote, event two, dot on, a server event, come on, connect to the function of nothing, well, player, and then, mm, basically, so you've done that. You want to type local milkshake equals gain a replicated storage of milkshake. Then milkshake colon clone. And then dot parent is equal to player dot backpack. Probably not going to work, but we can always try that. Never mind, it does work. So you can click the X and then you can just get unlimited milkshakes and now you got a juicy milkshake. Oh, and it's empty. Oopsies. Well, that was yummy. As you can see, errors. Uh, from the cup. It is uh, a free model, sorry. Well, anyways, that was a short tutorial. But it should be pretty helpful if you want to make a Roblox cafe. If you did enjoy this, do not forget to like and subscribe as mentioned before in the video and like the video, and I will see you all in the next video. Adios!